Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the anatomy of cancer, okay? Now, let's start at the beginning. We have the cell cycle. If you ever took biology in high school, uh, you learned about mitosis, okay? So I'm just going to try to make it really, really simple. Uh, mitosis is kind of like the, the cell division phase where then it, it divides and it duplicates, okay? So your cells have little copy machines in there that can actually make a new cell. It's quite magical. So you have these different phases you have and phase the derivation of the word phase means to carry out gradually so it's this whole thing that's carried out nice and gradually you have the prophase okay that in that phase of the cell cycle things are getting ready okay it's getting prepared and the derivation of pro means beforehand so that's like a pre step right there and then you have the metiphase this is where all the things get lined up all the the dna uh, little strands get lined up and the derivation of medi means after or beyond. So it's after this phase right here. Then we get to the anaphase where the actual real separation starts beginning. We have a perfect duplicate of the DNA in this cell and this cell and they're starting to divide. The cell membrane is closing. The derivation of ana means again anew. So we have this, this cell that's becoming new again, okay? Then we get to the telophase, okay? This is where the division finishes completely, and the derivation of tela means to end, so it's a completed cycle, okay? And lastly, we have the interphase, and that's basically where the cell is a finished product. Now all the inside of the cell is, is growing, it's developing, it's doing its function, it's making proteins and little structures on the side of the cell, and that's gonna go on for a while until the whole cycle starts again. So we have this perfect, machine going on with a copy machine completely separating and duplicating and growing cells, okay? So this entire cell cycle is tightly regulated by a couple things. One is called the tumor suppressor gene, okay? It's like the little brake pad inside of the cell that stops the cell from, or the stops the copy machine from producing too many cells, okay? And it does it by killing, causing the cells to commit suicide. That process is called apoptosis, okay? So it's programmed cell death. It's about 60 billion of these cells are doing that every single day. Now, don't worry, you have about 100 trillion cells that make up your whole body, so it's a very small fraction, okay? So that's all real nice, everything works out good. So the problem is when the tumor suppressor gene becomes dysfunctional through what's something called a mutation. Now, a mutation is a sudden change in the cell uh, that occurs that alters the function. Now, it could be this life, okay, a sudden alteration, or it could be passed on genetically from your parents, which is not as common. The most common thing is a mutation, it's called an acquired mutation, which is this life, okay? Um, what will, can cause that, when it mutates, it can cause the cells to get out of control, and you start developing these huge tumors in your body that can take over, um, and sometimes they're benign and they don't grow, but sometimes they'll start accelerating more and more and more and they develop into what's called a malignancy, which they're spreading throughout the body and start to destroy the entire body. So the question is what causes mutations? Well, you got all the different chemicals in the food and your environment, and you also have radiation can do it as well. Okay, so that's what causes mutations. So really, there's just not enough attention put on what triggers these mutations, like eliminating exposure to the chemicals, cleaning up the environment, and we'll talk about, we'll come back to that. But let's just shift gears over here. There's another term I want to introduce you to. It's called angiogenesis. Angio meaning blood vessels, genesis meaning new. So the new creation of new blood vessels that actually feed these tumors. So what happens, you get the blood supply and it starts feeding it, getting bigger and bigger. Um, well, chemotherapy works by inhibiting angiogenesis. So it kind of cuts off the blood supply, right? sounds pretty cool, but it also cuts out the blood supply to other things and creates a lot of toxic effects. And uh, if you ever want to uh, look at some interesting information, look at natural anti-angiogenesis type things, okay? And that would be arugula, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, horseradish, kale, okay? I, I do a kale shake probably every other morning. Aloe, curcumin, resveratrol, milk thistle, ginger, garlic, fish oil, all the carotenoids and all the different vegetables like kale, of course, uh, green tea, and then minerals like selenium, vitamin D will do it, lemon, 
uh, berries, even the byproducts, the friendly byproducts of friendly bacteria. So I found that interesting. So now the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to type on the American Cancer Society website and just see what they say that we should do for cancer, what causes cancer, okay? What causes brain tumors? Here's what I said. We don't know the exact cause of most brain and spinal cord tumors, but a great deal of research is being done in this area. Well, that's good. What causes kidney cancer? We don't know the exact cause of most kidney cancer, but a great deal of research is being done in this area. What causes prostate cancer? Although research has found some things linked to man's risk levels of prostate cancer, it is not clear exactly how these factors might cause prostate cancer. Thyroid cancer, what causes thyroid cancer? Well, we don't know the exact cause of thyroid cancer. More research is being done, okay? So if you scroll down a little further, you'll see uh, the sponsors, which are Pfizer, Merck, AstraZeneca, you know, companies that make chemotherapy. And then we have Tyson's, Campbell's, Kroger's. So in summary, there's really only two things you need to focus on. Number one, avoiding the chemical triggers and consuming foods that actually starve off the cancer. Just let's keep it simple. Thanks for watching. Hi guys. Hey, listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.